Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a video to talk about the latest build of Windows 10 which is Evaluation Copy Build 16299 was released today September the 26th we're hoping for RTM at some point very 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 soon maybe this week but yeah you know what on the bottom right says here still watermark we're still not there and there's still going to be some builds and there's going to be some builds this week um, for sure now uh, RTM is not a term that Microsoft likes because you know it's going back to the old Windows way of thinking RTM which means release to manufacturing uh, it's kind of not that anymore today but still um, we're looking at this we're looking at the different builds and um, it's a very stable build so the install itself uh, first, you know, let's do the first thing first. If you're looking at this video wondering what's new in here, there's nothing new. So you can go on and watch something else. Uh, install itself, okay. Two hours and 15 minutes in the initialization, download and everything. About 35 to 40 minutes in the install itself. So that means as I was doing other things, it was actually initializing the install and when I did the install, it didn't take more than 35, 40 minutes, something like that. So it's a quick install if you think that it's like, you know, a real full version of Windows. I've been using it now for two hours and a half, a little more than that, maybe almost close to three hours. Um, basically, it's going well. No issues, no problems. Things are going really, really well here. And uh, that's what we want to see in a build. You know, the install goes well, the build itself goes well, no awkward moments, no crashes or anything. So it's cool for that because it seems to really go as it should. Now, um, we are close, we are very, very close. We're hoping that maybe this week, um, you know, we're gonna be October the 1st this weekend. And that's 17 days before the official release. So we're hoping that maybe this week is gonna be the real deal. So uh, we'll be checking out the next builds as they come through. Of course, no new features, but a lot of bug fixes. There's quite a lot of bug fixes in this one. The last build we had had like four or five different bug fixes. This one has more than that. And that's what you want. And you know, honestly, let's face it, there's bugs when they release the official thing. It, it can't be perfect, it doesn't exist. You know, all these codes are written by humans. So there's flaws in here and they are existent even when they release the official thing. But, you know, we wanna have the minimum possible to minimize the pro probability of accidents and problems. So we're really close to this and you know, I mean these builds are so stable that they're probably, probably RTM uh, prone. They're, they're really the builds that could be released soon. Um, so there's no new builds, no new features. And um, what does that mean? We're gonna talk about some of the interesting things that happen. Uh, we're gonna talk about Cortana a little bit today. Cortana is more intelligent in this build. Cortana can now read posters. You have a poster in front of you, she can say, hey, you like that, and um, I can actually take note of the date and the time of that event and add it to your calendar. You wanna? She can do that now. She got and she acquired more features, even better than that. Look at this. You know, I'm a karaoke guy, so I like to see the the, the words of a song, the lyrics. Uh, but even before I was a karaoke guy, one of the things I like to see is, you know, what a song is saying. You gotta face it, you know, sometimes you're listening to a song, it's like, what the hell that person is saying right now? And you wanna see the words, because, you know, for me, the words are as important as the song itself. So say, for example, I'm clicking a song here, it says, oh, Coldplay, yellow. There it goes, I wanna see that video. Well, as you're clicking the video, look on the address bar at the top. Look here, want the lyrics? And that's Cortana, you see the little Cortana circle here. So let's just freeze this so I don't get the, uh, you know, 
the video cut off. Whoa. And uh, look at this. I click on the lyrics, and here we go. Here's Yellow from Coldplay, and here's the lyrics of the song. So look at that. This is very cool. You know, there's no other operating system that does this. It's amazingly cool to see this in one of the possibilities of our operating system. Of course, you'll say, yeah, well, you gotta use Edge. Well, yeah, you know, it's integration. And I'm sorry, but if even if you don't like Edge, uh, you can't blame Microsoft for pushing, 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 pushing Edge and Cortana and its own uh, way of working because it's, let's face it, you know, why talk about competition when you can talk about your own stuff? And I have no problem with that. So there's this, but there's more than that. So you can go to an article. So say that I'm going to uh, Google, okay? And in that Google, I say that I wanna talk about uh, something like, um, I don't know, Windows 10 S. And now you're here and you're gonna talk, so I'm gonna take this article. I don't know if it's gonna work, but sometimes, now this one, it doesn't work, but it works probably 50% of the time. You get this little, at the same place you saw, oh, do you wanna see the lyrics? You get this little uh, blue Cortana link that says, oh, there's more content about this if you want. And now I'm looking at Windows 10 S, so you're gonna think, well, okay, about Windows and Microsoft. No, no, about pretty much anything. Right now, she's not saying anything, but about pretty much everything. So it's, you know what? I find that cool, personally. I find that it's nice that an assistant can actually look through what I'm doing. And, you know, for some people, it's invasion of privacy. For me, it's not. For me, it's my assistant is being cool and helping me out in everyday work and everyday thing that I do. It all depends on how you think about assistance. You know, yes, they gather a lot of information on us, you know, but I don't think it's worse than, you know, using your cell phone and being tracked everywhere. Personally, you gotta think about, okay, um, the possibilities and the advantage that it actually gives me versus the snooping that it does on what I do every day, you know? So it's pretty cool. Cortana is actually much better and there's a lot of things. And you know what, guys? I wanted to add this this week. Um, I actually had a call on my phone that I missed. And for the first time this week, because I have Cortana on my Android phone, which is a Galaxy S7 phone, it actually showed here in the Action Center. It said, oh, you have a missed call from that number. And that was the first time it worked this week. So it's just great. I love it. You know what? I think that sort of integration is actually the type of computing I like. I want a computer that can help me out and tell me things that I want to hear and I want to see. Now, once again, you might be against this saying, well, okay, these big companies are snooping on us. I'm not there, you know, um, un unless somebody tells me personally that, you know, or I see somebody personally got, for some reason, you know, arrested or whatever because of that snooping, maybe I'll change my mind. But for now, uh, you know what? It's interesting. It's computing like we should have. Computers helping us and letting us know and telling us that we have things that we're maybe, maybe missing out in life and that are there, and I love it. So uh, Cortana, more intelligent and being much better. So uh, we're waiting for another build and I'm pretty sure, you know, we're Tuesday, Tuesday we're Tuesday. And uh, we're gonna have, for some reason, I don't know why I was like, yeah, all day today I was thinking it was Wednesday, Wednesday, I don't know why. So we're Tuesday and there's gonna be another build this week, that's pretty sure. And uh, let's cross our fingers because we're really close for the official release. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and uh, what about you? What's your experience with the latest build? You like it? Don't you like it? What about Cortana? Invasive? 
Um, does it infringe on your privacy or is it pretty cool and you love it? I love it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up and thank you for watching.